Okay, I made it and it's 7.24. That was honestly a really awful drive. Like, I never want to do that again. I was so worried I would go into a toll multiple times and it was on like highways that I wasn't really familiar with at all. And it kept saying like toll roads and people were going really fast that I was scared. It was I came to the Starbucks that's near it. Like I said, it's 7.24. My, apart my apartment is at 8.45. And this should be pretty close um, to it. Wow, my face is so swollen because it's the morning. Um, but I'm at a Starbucks right now. And I don't know if I'll go inside and do some work. Some plazas here. I saw a Bed Bath & Beyond, like a Michaels. And then over there is Target. And, uh, <sighs> I got so excited. But um, I don't really need anything from, like, I mean, from Target. But I don't really feel like eating ever in the morning. Like, the only thing... I don't even think I want a coffee right now, which is shocking. The only thing I might be able to stomach is, like, a matcha. So... This dude almost hit my car. Oh my god, so I was seeing things that are around this area. And I saw that there's a Converse store. And I don't have one near me at all. Like, I have to, like, literally drive, like, an hour away. Which is where I am now. So I'm gonna go to Converse store and I found out that there's an Ikea here. Let's go to the gastroenterologist on an empty stomach. They didn't tell me to, so. I guess it doesn't really matter. He Dude, I am so pissed. That was the stupidest thing ever. Okay, I was in there for like 40 minutes or something, filled out a bunch of paperwork, right? I paid $40 for a copay. Like they took my insurance, but I still had to pay the $40. All for her to tell me to take more fiber. <laughs> I paid $40 and drove an hour for her to tell me what my mom yells at me for free. I am, I'm like, I'm like speechless. Because like, what the hell was the point of that? She told me to take, to eat 30 to 35 grams of fiber. Luckily she did give me a prescription for something, but it was only cause I like, was kind of like sitting there begging her to give me a prescription. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna go to the Converse store and, I don't know, <laughs> do something now. This was supposed to be like one of the best doctors. It's like 9.49 right now, right? The mall opens at 10, I'm parked outside. Um, there's a bowling place in front of me in an AMC. It's pretty nice, it's pretty big, but it looks kind of like outdated. I'm baffled. Like, I've had like chest pains too, so she was like, all right, I'll prescribe you something that might help with that or something. <laughs> But, um, also, while I was waiting in the hour, since I woke up at like 6 and my appointment was at 8.45, I got a matcha latte with four pumps of macadamia syrup, because I heard people talking, like, raving about it, and, uh, well, this is like a jump scare, because I'm like a mask fisher. Oh, ooh. Anyways. Um, it's because my eyes are my best feature, <laughs> and it's like, uh, also, like, I'm like peeling like crazy here. Let me lock my doors. Oh, they're locked already. I mean, she was really nice though, and she's really professional, but she was like bloating is normal, but I'm like a really different kind of bloat. I, I thought she would tell me if I had IBS, but I'm not sure. It's like non-diagnosable according to like the internet. I could have used Chad GDP to tell me how many how many grams of fiber I could use. I did not need to come all this way and pay this. This is why I don't go to the freaking doctor. So I don't go to the doctor. Anyways, I asked her about all those dietary supplements and I was like, they've never really worked for me before. And she's like, oh, you have to stay more consistent with it. It's all the stuff my mom's been telling me. My mom should have her MD by now. She asked me what I like ate recently and I was trying to remember. Also, I said salmon burger. And a lot of people make fun of me for that. Just apparently it's salmon, but I think salmon's really ugly, so I say salmon. I'm so excited to go to the Converse store. I might go to Ikea, I'm not sure. This is really disturbing to look at, I'm sorry. Maybe I should rip this off, but like I'm scared because I don't want to like rip off the skin that's not doing it naturally. I feel like I could have like had my skin peeled. Ew, don't look at my nails. I still have nail glue on from graduation like four weeks ago. I could have, I feel like I could have my skin peeled for way less than $325. My parents keep asking me how much it costs. I'm like, Shadi, don't worry about it. If I pay for it, don't worry about it. 
Oh, 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 the cheeks were not peeling yesterday, but now they are. My mom's like scared of it. She's like, oh, that's crazy. Um, she's like, how long will it take? I was like, a week. And she's like, oh. I'm thinking about getting a keratin treatment for my hair, but I don't know if I like, like, I really like my hair and the fact that it's, this person next to me has a handicap sign. I'm pretty sure they could have parked way closer. Unless I'm in the parking, the handicap parking spot. One time, um, I was doing a group project with someone and I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I went around the corner to the bathrooms and it was handicapped. So I went back and I was like, never mind, I'll just do it after we present. And they were like, oh, because it's handicapped. And they're like, oh, so you can use it then. I was like, 2023, you would be canceled. If he was famous, but he'll never get there. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, why is my face so like swollen? Do you know how painful my gas has been? There's no way it's normal. I'm like, is this like level of bloating normal? And she's like, yeah, everyone has bloating. I know everyone has bloating, but like my kind of bloating, probably not, right? Like I'm like pregnant. Like it's like out here. Like I could hold it. It's like like a watermelon or like my dad's stomach. <laughs> I hate going to the doctors for these reasons. My dermatologist also scams, like mad scammer. Because I went, right? I went for like a cosmetic consultation because I have these acne scarring from picking on my forehead. It's like one of my biggest insecurities. And I got there, they were like, oh, we'll also do a medical consultation for you. So I paid 150 for the cosmetic consultation. I was only okay paying for that because they were like, oh, this will count as credit towards a treatment or a product, which I'm not paying for your all products. I could get it from the ordinary for like literally a fraction of the cost. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll pay it. And then they were like, we'll do a medical consultation for you at the same time. Cause you know, with we can't treat the cosmetic without doing the medical. He took my insurance luckily i have insurance otherwise god knows how much that would have cost and i still had to do a down payment or a down payment you know, buying a house um a copay of 40 dollars. so it ended up costing me 190 dollars for her to just go on and on like and she she didn't even let me ask questions she was like in a rush to go to like the next week's patient and i was like and i started asking her about these scars on my legs for fleas and i could tell she was getting annoyed like she wanted me to come back and pay another 190 just to talk about my legs i'm like girl no i'm here and i'm paying this much you can answer questions about scarring on my legs and she gave me like a really like, generic answer or something it was really short it was like oh yeah you could use the niacinamide that you use for your face for your legs for the um scarring and she's like and i was like do you think they'll fade with time she's like probably not I finally, oh my god, oh my god, and then I finally am going to get my chemical peel, right? Um, this is like several months ago, like, I mean, this, this was Friday, but I had the consultation several months ago, uh, like, during winter break before my spring semester, and so I went for my chemical peel, right? I just called them and told them, and they were like, oh, okay, we'll set that, oh, my car is still on. And so I go in, right? I create the appointment, I go in, I'm sitting in the room, and she sits down with me, and she's like, okay, I don't know if you still want to go through with the chemical peel. Like, I'm here, what? And she's like, because we normally don't do it from, what is it, May to September. And I'm like, oh, because of the sun and stuff. And she's like, yeah, we don't like, like the sun is too harsh. It can cause like other scarring. And she's like, I can still do it. I don't mind. I'm like, girl, you're not going to mind because I like already came here. So um, I was like, yeah, please do it. So she did. She's like, yeah, I don't mind, but you'll have to be very careful. I don't recommend going out this weekend. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. And then I ended up going, going out because I wanted to get Dunkin' and stuff. But anyways, that was, that was goofy of her. She's a silly goose. I was like, why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that when I sit down in the room? We made the appointment. I've dro driven here. I'm just glad that I got my chemical peel over with. To be honest, I just want to get my 150 credit done. And like, oh, I've been to the gastroenterologist. I haven't been to the doctor in years like they were doing the blood pressure thing on me and i was like i don't even remember, remember how this feeling because i haven't been in such a long time this is now open so i'm gonna go inside and see if i can get any converse to maybe brighten up my day i don't know 
Yeah. I dropped my mask. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh. Oh well, I'll wear my hat. Yay. This kitten is kind of ugly. This music. <laughs> like two hours and 40 minutes, I think it's 12.40. I got my mom some shoes. I spent a lot of time in the Nike store. They have like a Nike clearance store, which I've never seen before. It's like the Nike outlet, except all of it was clearance. Um, so those were only like $30, and then I got myself these. I really like them. I don't have anything like this. This mall was huge. There's like a Nordstrom Rack, a TJ Maxx, a Burlington, like everything. There's a bowling alley, there's an AMC, there's Bloomingdale's, there's a huge food court. There were two Starbucks and two Onions. That should tell you how big it was. They had these little hubs where it would be like, you're entering neighborhood one and it would name all the stores in there. And there was like five or six of them. And like, that's like, there was like 10 stores each, probably. I didn't get much from there either. The Nike store, I was in there for so long that three people asked me for a bag, three separate people. The first two I declined and then the third one I was like, oh, you know, and I'll just take it. And it was a really awkward exchange because he's like holding it open for me to put my shoes in. And I was like, I don't know, kind of awkward. I'm slow use. So look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Look, that's a Tesla. With a, please be patient, student driver's ticket. Dang, bro. What kind of student is this? Parents have not, like, understood what the chemical peel is for. So, like, my mom's like, oh, do you, do you get Botox in asthma? And I was like, no, Botox, like, goes into your skin. This is, like, on your skin because I came home and my skin was, like, orange. And then my dad started calling me a snake yesterday because my skin is, like, peeling. And they would just look at me really close up, both my mom and my dad. And they would just be like, ew, gross. And they wouldn't say anything other than that. So, but it's gross. Oh my god, there's a bug in here. Get out, little guy. Hey. The current time is 6 10, something like that. So, I have like an hour to kill, but like, I don't know what to do because, like, what's open at like 6 a.m., you know? Well, on my way back, I already planned this. I'm gonna go to H Mart and I'm gonna get one of those like sushi rolls. I really want to get one of those. I'm just going to munch on that. That's going to be my lunch. I already planned this out. I'm hitting the windshield on the way here. And I didn't want to let it down because my mom locks her windows because relatively new and it's a Honda Civic. Um, and when she like would lock the doors and we would leave, right? All the windows would be up. But like, like a few seconds after we would leave the car, the windows just roll down on their own. And like my mom, so my mom locks the car door to make sure they don't do that. Cause a few times we've like left our like bags in the car and like the windows are just rolled down. And I'm like, oh great. Someone literally could have snatched up the bags. Cause once my mom's purse was just laying in the bag, um, we don't like put our stuff in there normally. And we always lock our doors, but I don't know why her windows just keep doing that. I don't know why I keep looking around. There's like nothing here. I'm in an empty parking lot. So don't look at that. But I went to bed relatively early at like 1 a.m. That's not that early. But I was sending an email, so I don't know. I was kind of trying to be productive at night. <laughs> Excuse me.